Hi guys! I'm Sassy, or Jessica, um, doing my first makeup tutorial. It's for an online friend, um, Kesha, who's getting married this weekend and asked me, me, why me, for some makeup advice. Because she's nervous and wants a pretty look. Um, we kind of must have a little bit of the same complexion. She has hooded eyes like I do, and she has a smaller upper, a bit, 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 upper lip <laughs> like I do as well. So, um, I'm engaged too. Woo! Yay! Um, so, of course, what's on my mind is what am I going to do for me too? You know, when I eventually get married like five years from now. But I was like, what are we going to do? And she's really pretty and she doesn't wear a ton of makeup all the time and I think when you go to a wedding like of course I'm probably going to be like Bazzas! because that's just me <laughs> I might not um, I'm not going to do you know like I'm not going to come down the aisle looking like a clown I think you should do something close to your natural look but you know glam it up like 10 times and be comfortable and waterproof you're going to cry it is just it's gonna happen you're gonna tear up you're gonna cry we don't want black streaks down your face although I'm not using waterproof mascara here um, because I'm using my favorite um, so yeah my bad um, I'm using all products that you can get at your local Walgreens, Target, Sephora, Ulta, um, wherever. Um, not that expensive. Some of them a little bit pricier, mid, you know, mid-range. Um, I have some Elf and some NYX, and um, my always go to Anastasia for the Hills for my eyebrows. Um, Neutrogena. I'm going to go completely out and do everything and show you everything that I'm going to do and this might get long and I'm really sorry and I'm kind of weird and nerdy so don't mind me um and I wear glasses <laughs> um which are going to have to come off for this uh so I already there was only one thing that I already did and I used my 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 mint juleps from Lush on my lips um I was in the bathroom and it's just because, like, you're supposed to like it off, but there's, I use a lot, and I bite my lips in my sleep, bad habit. I don't even know how to stop that. Um, so I always have, you know, on here. So I did that in the bathroom so I could rinse it off and not show me, like, yeah. So this is one of my go-to favorite products. Love it. First of all, it's minty and makes you smell like fresh breath and um and it leaves you up smooth I always afterwards follow it up a little EOS um I like to put this on and get my lips a moisturized while I'm starting to do everything that's not going to be like just what I do with my lips but I like to start things off um and let that moisturization sink in while I'm doing my makeup um so I'm going to, again, start from scratch. I haven't done anything besides washed my face. Um, I'm so dry. I live in New Hampshire, and we had like 30 billion feet of snow this winter. Um, and I already have dry skin. So I'm gross up in here. I have flakies up in here. It's tight and flakies. I also have um, psoriasis. And I've had some psoriasis patches going on over here. So I found Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Um, this is the extra dry skin formula. And I'm loving this. I noticed a difference in the first two applications of using it. It's amazing. Um, and... I have a Rite Aid near me, and they and run a special, like, buy one, get one half off. So, uh, I was going to go get an expensive cream because the cream that I had been using my face had. This does not have an SPF in it, which is one of my favorite things to do with my face cream. But, um, with how bad my skin has been, this 
winter, I was like, I need something. But SPF is the way I usually tell people to go because honestly, um, I'm old and I have pretty good looking skin for being an old lady. Um, so stay out of the sun. It's a big, huge thing. Wrinkles, age spots. Good way to keep them off of you is just stay out of that sun. Um, so the glasses have to come off because I can't do my makeup with the glasses. So if I squint, I'm sorry. And again, I'm weird and I ramble. Um, you can throw things at your computer screen or shut off if you don't want to listen to me <laughs> anymore. Um, so I'm just a, a blobber and I like to just get a ton on. And put it all in. We'll take off the ring so it doesn't get all. And I just smooth it on. Pretty simple step. And I mean, I go up to my ears and down my neck. Your neck is an extension of your face. And as you get older, women tend to have issues and stuff with their 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 neck and their chins or whatever going on take care of that area moisturize um do what you need to do to make it stay young looking and fresh so all right i am moisturized i feel much better already because I was looking at my forehead going, oh my God, I can't believe I'm going to go on camera with my forehead looking like this. And ladies, I'm growing up my bangs and remind me if I ever say, hey, you want a different look, let's cut short bangs to not do it because it's cute, but you've got to cut them like every other week and you have to curl them every day and you have to whatever. And it's a pain in the bum bum to grow them out. So they're kind of up here so they're not in my way right now because they're in that weird stage where I can curl them to go with my hair off my you know with all my hair but not in the stage where they can be any off my face without anything on my head um so I'm going I want her to have a dewy look I would love for her to be she's a bride she's gonna be glowing you're glowing with happiness and joy of your day so, I am loving um, Glow Mist uh, by Pixie by Petra. Um, I use it before I start anything. Spray on my face after my moisturizer. And it gives this little bit of um, dewiness. Love it. You guys shake it up. It is a little bit of an oil. Um, it's got argan oil in it. Um, it doesn't smell or anything like that. Um, you use it as a setting spray. And a refresher, and it does give you that dewy, glowy look. Um, and I'm loving it. My first Pixie product that I got was in my Ipsy bag. Um, they're more, a little bit more expensive than NYX, um, but I definitely, um, their their products are amazing, and one of my favorite products and go tos. So I'm just going to spray this is about four to five inches in your face and spray all over. So I'm sprayed. It's got a little bit of a citrus scent. Um, I'm the person that I take out all my makeup that I'm going to use and I'm not at my makeup table. I'm at my computer desk where I game. So I had to pull everything out of my room and bring it out here for you. So I like to always have things, um, ready to go and then I move them aside um, so I'm going to grab my next steps and I have been using forever it's one of my favorite products um, the poor professional by benefit um, it is definitely um, it works for me some people you either love it or you hate it um, I love it. I use it over my T-zone. Um, I feel like I have large pores and I feel like it completely um, takes them away um, myself. So I 
put it on my just over my nose and my cheeks and I do my chin because I have pores there that I don't like either um, and this this size has lasted me forever I have a backup ready to go because I feel like it's empty and I always the things that I use like every day I hate to have them disappear so I like like it's like one things I have a backup waiting to go um, for me to use because once it starts to get a little um, low I don't want to run out and go reach for it and not have it there so then I'm going to use um, my Sephora base for my foundation I have a Sephora five minutes from my house um, I don't have a, a a preference or a Sephora versus Ulta. There's stuff that I can get at Ulta that I can't get at Sephora, stuff that I can get at Sephora that I can't get at Ulta. So, and then I go to Macy's and I shop online and, you know, um, I just started using Sephora's and kind of stuck with it. So, and I like the feel it gives to my face. So, I use that. So, this just goes on all over my face after I put on my Pore Professional. And it makes my face feel nice and soft. And I even bring it down my neck because I bring my foundation down too. Um, so everywhere that I'm putting my foundation, I'm putting this. And there. And then I have found Urban Decay's Naked Skin. Um concealer. It's a little bit of a lighter shade. I go a little bit lighter. I use it on my under eye circles because I have under eye circles because I can't sleep at night. So I have under eye circles and I have naturally a little bit of a, a dark. So I always just, I do use the applicator and I, applic I put some on and then I grab my makeup brush, which I had to bring out, and I blend that in. Okay. And I bring it up around my eye, and I just blend it in. It is a little bit lighter than my skin. I know. And I will use my finger for touch ups and blend in. I am just using, um, I don't even know what brush this is. I don't have a name for it. It's just, um, almost looks like a, a flat, um, larger eyeshadow brush. Um, I just like the way the bristles on this one blend it in. So I go with it. I like to use what I like. Um, so there's that. Um, I have a backup of this too. This is my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. I love this foundation. I am not a foundation lover. Um, I typically don't like full coverage foundation. Um, and I love this. And it doesn't feel like full coverage. Um, it feels like light coverage. And I'm a weirdo, and I know everybody else, like, will put it in a bowl and mix and do things. And I use my fingers. Um, I do use a brush, typically, to put it in, but on. But my brush is in the bedroom. So we are going to improvise with my fingers. Um, and... You know, down into my neck and out. And this room does not have the best lighting, so hopefully I don't come out looking like a clown. Um. So bingo. Uh, my fiance definitely enjoys when I do fingers versus um having a, and he hates girls who have tons of foundation on or tons of makeup. He's always like, you don't need makeup. Makeup is just, you know, um, but dudes, 
seriously, if you're telling us girls that, like, we're lying to you by wearing makeup, when's the last time you saw somebody actually with gold or silver or blue eyelids? Come on, we're not really throwing one over you. You know we're wearing makeup. Duh. All right. So that's mixed. Mixed on whatever. I like to uh, talk. I keep wiping my hands on my jeans. I'm wearing kind of like just whatever because I wasn't planning on doing this today. So um, this is for you. Happy wedding day. Anyways, um, I'm going to use my Painter Lily Mac Eye. Um, it's one of my go-tos. I have a bunch. Um, I like this one myself. And I don't know why, but I always do my eyes um, right after I do my foundation because it's just habit. And I'm a bad person with habits and tend to always just follow my habits. And so my neck, it's all my eyes now. Um, so I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Kit in Brunette. Um, I love it. Um, somebody loves, some people love their dip brow. I love this. Um, it's what I learned with it. I've perfected it for my hair color because I have a weird hair color because I always just let it fade and wait until my roots are like six inches long to redo my hair because I'm bad like that. Um, so I have like a brown auburn with some like sea green going on in it because it was Tardis blue to start with. Um, so when I use this and this kit comes with a brush and your wax and then two powder shades for your eyebrow and then two concealer highlights. Um, so I wax my brows like every six weeks and then I pluck what I need to and then around six weeks I need to have them waxed again because I lose the size, um, the shape. Um, so I shape them through waxing and then I've just had a, a shape. But this kit comes with shapes, so you can do whatever shape you want. Um, those sell for a lot of money, and so this kit is really relatively, with what you get inside of it, inexpensive. Um, so I put the wax on my brows after I brush them. Brush them, comb them. I was just having a conversation with somebody the other day at a checkout counter where she was like, oh my god, your eyebrows are great. I'm like, well, I do them. And she said she had just bought a kit. Um, she bought the e.l.f. kit, which is a great kit. It's cute. And e.l.f., I can't, you, you cannot go wrong with them. They're amazing um, product, um, inexpensive. And I love using e.l.f. products. We're going to be using some e.l.f. blush today. Um, but, uh, she's like, I felt like a clown. I, like, they were so dark and I can't get it off. And, and, um, what, and I was like, well, um, I feel like a clown when I do my eyebrows. I do them and then I kind of feel like, what's up? But you want to know something? As soon as I put on the rest of my makeup, I'm like, oh, wow, that's what's up. And um, I just went a little above my eyebrow with that. I don't tend to do that because I don't tend to talk and do my makeup at the same time because I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So why would I be able to put on makeup and talk at the same time? So I actually use both um, powder shades in this kit. Um, I start with the lighter shade and then I go in with the 
darker shade. I fill in using short little strokes. I go whichever um, way my hair is going. I definitely um, I brush my brows um, to get it. I always feel like the first um, stroke, so sometimes I will tap it on my hand, and my hands always need to be washed after I do my makeup um, to get some off, because I always feel like I leave a weird mark if I don't do that, or it's too dark um, where I first started. Um, and so I told her, I'm like, yeah, I felt kind of clownish um, when I first started doing my brows, too. And I still sometimes feel that way because they're so dark after I do them. Um, but then I put on my eye makeup and I'm like, oh, wow, my brows look good. Like I did them and I got I get stopped in Sephora. Um, I've been it's now like five times I've been stopped by different ladies asking me how I do my brows. So then I bring them over to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I like show them this is the kit. This is whatever. And they're like, well, I was thinking about going to the dip brow. And I have no problem against the dip brow. like the dip brow. Um, I just, I feel like the kit has it all. And you don't have to go do anything else. So, um, although you're going to see me do something else. Because <laughs> I like to not do what I say. Um, I, again, went a little over with my... Um, one of my shades, um, this is by Julep, it's the Control Z Eye Makeup Eraser, um, it's kind of amazing, it's, it's a little, like, felt tip marker with eye makeup remover, and you just remove what you messed up on, and it's gone, voila, and... So I'm going to do a little bit of, um, they have like a shimmery, um, one and a flat one, um, for the highlight or, um, I just go in and edge my brow with it. I should have plucked my brows a little bit more. I haven't, uh, I did my makeup yesterday and did a little plucking, but. Well, um, I know a few girls who always say, I never pluck, I never wax, I never do anything, I just hide it with my makeup. And yeah, you can totally do that. Um, I love a good groomed eyebrow. I'm sorry. I think it puts together your whole face. And I am one of those weirdos for years because I work um, at the front desk at reception at a veterinary hospital that is incredibly busy for eight years. And one of my biggest comments when I was like, oh my God, I love your eyebrows. Um, yes, I'm a weirdo. Um, but seriously, well-groomed eyebrows set off and frame your whole face. Um, so important. So, and a little bit of, um, Julep's Iconic Brow Setting Gel. So I'm just going to set my brows with it because, um, I am. And it does this little pop up. Sorry. It's little things amuse me. Um, and I'm just going to set my brows. Just lightly. Yay. Um, there are other brow setting um, gels you can use. Um, the solar, like Walgreens or Rite Aid or CVS, that are like $3 or $4. Um, this came in my... Maven box, so I don't know how much it is, but Julep is probably, um, I love being a Maven, and their prices, especially if you are a Maven, because you get a discount, are really reasonable, and you get free shipping if you're a Maven. Uh, so now I'm going to go to my eyes, and I, she, you know, wears more naturals and some pinks and um it's her wedding day so I was like what are we gonna do um so I know she has a lot of she says she has a lot of makeup 
So, and also I wanted to do stuff that you could get. Uh, again, I guess I must be an Urban Decay addict because we're going to use my Naked 2 palette. Um, I was just going to use these colors with a little extra poof at the end. Um, I always use, start with the Foxy, which is the lightest one because it is like the color of my skin. And I just cover my whole eye with it. And I... Um, I always just use the brush that's in there to do that with because it's there and I do wash it with my weekly washing of brushes or bi-weekly because I like to do that. So we are doing, so now my eyelids are covered with Foxy. Now we're going to do something in our brow crease. Um, I think I was playing this in my head. Um, I have fallen in love with snake bite, which is, I'm going to point to it with my index finger right there. It is one of my favorite shades in this palette. Um, it's a coppery, shimmery dope. Um, I'm going to go in with my Julep Shader Brush. These, I have like five of these. These are one of my favorite brushes for doing creases and also shadow. Um, I have hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes, you'll you like you'll understand how hard it is to do creases, um, how hard it is to do <coughs> excuse me, um, wings. Wings are like almost impossible, and, and a lot of people or professional makeup artists will tell you if you have hooded eyes, never do wings. <laughs> As my fiance will tell you, I never like to take the easy way, and I always like to tell people to go screw when they tell me. I shouldn't do something or I couldn't do something. Um, I tend to do, um, I watch a lot of um, MUAs on YouTube and I like, you know how they do one eye and they show you and then they show you how to do it. Um, that would drive me insane because I like to measure how I'm doing or what it looks like. I guess I could, you know, do one eye and do the other, but I tend to do them both at the same time so I can see if I have to add or subtract any color. Um, my favorite blending brush is my MAC 217. It is my favorite. And my second favorite, and I have like five of these too, I only have one MAC, is my Julep, and it says I, it just says eyeshadow on it. Um, I love the fluffiness of my MAC one, and this one is just as fluffy, it's just as great, it blends just as well. I'm going to use my MAC one because it's my favorite, it's my go-to. Um, I'm going to blend it up. This is the Snake Bite in the Naked 2 palette. And I'm just blending it up onto my brow bone and pulling it out and really just blending, blending, blending. The secret is always to blend, 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 blend. And every, you'll, you hear that all the time and you're like, what the heck? And it really is. And the better you get at blending, the better your eye make looks. It makeup looks. Um, so that's blended. I kind of want it a little darker. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Busted. So it's the one right next to the black. Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit to it because I want it a little bit darker. This is like normal everyday kind of makeup wear for me because I'm weird and like to wear lots of makeup. I don't know. I'm girly girl and I love makeup. 
So I'm just going in and adding this into my crease on both eyes right now. And I'm not adding a ton. Um, just enough to darken it, darken it up a little bit. And I'm going to go back with my... I'm actually going to use my clean blender from Julep instead of the MAC one. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to blend this one up a little bit. So this is just going to darken up that color a little bit more. Um, for me because I just wanted it a little bit dark, darker and I'm bringing up on my back brow bone I'm pulling it out a little bit. I'm going into the corner and I'm blending 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 um, And I'm going to do the same thing on my left eye It's just a little bit darker With that in there Um mm -hmm. I feel like it would be weird faces. You can all point and laugh. It's okay. I can take it. I'm a big girl. Um, so my favorite shimmery shade in here is um, Chopper, which is right here, again, with my index finger. Um, and it's a little coppery gold, sandy. I'm going to use this on my lids. And just on my lids. And I'm just using my, again, my shader um, brush for this. Um, and doing my lids. And I'm going to go in with my blending brush. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease a little bit. So they look blended and not just mismatched in with each other. Um, ta -da. um and I'm gonna highlight my eyes. With my favorite highlighter, um, it's my MAC. It's floof. First of all, it's so much fun to say. And this is my other favorite um, MAC brush. It's the 239. It's like a smudge brush, MAC 239. Um, I like it for putting my highlight color on. Floof is like a, a very shimmery, almost my skin color. Um, I have been using Floof. Um, focus. For a, while. Um, for a while, as my highlight, it's my go to. It, like almost every look, um, I just like the little shimmer it gives me up there. Um, I have others that I've used and that I like. It's just my preference and again I'm a girl of habit so it will always stay with me if I do it um, and floof by Mac um, so I'm a gel liner girl love gel liners um, my favorite is Inglot 77 for black it is right here it is black, black, black. It's used, so ooh. Um, 77 and my ink lot. Um, this is my go-to black. I have MAC. I have everything, but ink lot always stays on. It is amazing. It takes a couple of minutes to set. It's waterproof. Um, the only problem is I can never get it off, like, <laughs> which is awesome because you don't want to get it off. Um, Especially for a wedding, because you're going to cry. Sir. Um, so my go-to brush for um, applying gel eyeliner is the 22 Pro Angled Liner um, from Sephora. This is my favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I have other angled brushes that I use. I have a MAC angled brush. I have a bunch of others. Um, I just have found that for the money and... For what I use it for, and 
for my inability to be really good at applying jaw eyeliner, this is my go-to. Um, I should have music in the background, but I don't. I tend not to listen to music when I'm doing my makeup either because I feel like I would sing and mess up everything. Uh, so I'm starting at the inside corner and doing a... thick top. Line like so. And I'm going to Um, I'm gonna do it on my other eye and then I do my wings afterwards. Um, I do wings differently than everybody does because again, I have eyes that are hooded. So, like, you don't see my whole eyelid where you do on other people and they can have these amazing wings and you're like, oh my god, my eyelid comes down and hides some of that wing. So, I have a weird way of doing it. So, it kind of looks all right. Um, so, let me just get my other eye lined. I always have the problem where I get one eye perfect with my wings and the other eye just never lines up. And it could be I'm right handed and it's because I, I went a little long on that. So we're going to use my little hand down there eraser and erase. Also, I always keep makeup. Because who doesn't mess up? And when I watch YouTube videos of makeup tutorials and I see people just do it, I'm like, bitch. Because honestly, really, first of all, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and you just did that flawlessly? Hello. Um, so I'm doing my wing. And I just do small wings. Sometimes I do big, but I tend to just do brush sized wings. I like wings. Um, I have actually always done sort of a wing before they were super popular. Um, so I raise my lid, I have to go under my lid, I do my lid, and I have a cat coming to say hello. He's a pain in the bum bum. Professor, off. He wants to do makeup. It's okay. And we're doing my other wing. I totally need better lighting on here. And after I do that, I like to go in and fill in anywhere on my lash lines. It might not be as dark. So, little itty bitty wings. Little bitty wings. Um, Inglot, you gotta wash your eyeliner brush right away or it will um, be yucky and stiff and take a lot to wash it. So, because Inglot sets like immediately on there. Um, it'll smudge right now if I touch it a little bit because it takes like a minute to dry, but then it will be. Um, set. Um, so my waterline, I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Black Velvet on my waterline. Um, it's um, waterproof and 
it's dark black and um I always get a free one when I order stuff from them so I ha I bought one but I haven't had to buy one in ever because I get a free sample and this is the free sample size that's big so um yes so I'm doing my waterline and I connect it to my wing And all the way into my corner and out. She doesn't have to do this look. I'm just doing what I would do. We kind of have the same complexions, same hooded eye look. Um, <laughs> to use false. Eyelashes are not on your wedding day. I've been to a couple weddings where false eyelashes have fallen off during the ceremony. Um, honestly, it's your wedding day. You might tear up, whatever. Um, I love falsies. Um, I've only started applying them to myself myself recently because I have sensitive eyes. I wear contacts sometimes or whatever, and I don't like, uh, I don't know. Oh was nerve-wracking for me. So, I, myself, I don't think I would ever use falsies on my wedding day. Um, but, to each their own. And some people don't think their, um, their eye look is complete without falsies. Um, so, you know, what have you. And it, my views might change the more I more false lashes I use and the more competent I get because I'm going to do my eye makeup my makeup for my wedding day because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I want it my way and done my way and it better be my way. Um, so I told her I wanted her eyes to pop. She has beautiful green eyes. That's why I wanted her to do kind of like the browns and the topies and what have you because she has beautiful like green eyes and obviously I've never met her in person it's only through Instagram and I'm like whoa those are amazing so I wanted the topies the browns whatever because um yeah hello that makes green pop and I have um bluish green gray eyes with flecks of brown and green and stuff in them and they can change color versus what I'm wearing or what makeup I put on they'll look bluer or greener pretty cool um but yeah, so she definitely wants those eyes, those puppies to pop. It's her wedding day. Um, and pop them. Make them pop. Make them stand out. I mean, I put bubblegum pink and yellow on my eyes. So my wedding day might not just be. This is like an everyday look for me. But she does not. She's very beautiful. And she wears these beautiful natural makeup and I'm going a little bit heavier than her beautiful natural makeup. So right now I have NYX Roll On Shimmer in Platinum. And I love this and I'm actually just going to put it in my I'm going to put it on my finger and I'm going to put it in my corner. And I'm gonna, because I, I dabbed it with this, I'm gonna do it the same here because like continuity, keeping it the same. Um, so, and then I'm gonna put it on my finger and make my eyes pop with this in the corner. Bingo! Sparkly! You should have a tiara. Do you have a tiara? I hope you have a tiara. I want a tiara for my wedding. I'm wearing a TARDIS hat with Swarovski crystals because I'm a geek. Um, so I'm going to set my eyeliner. I use waterproof, but it always runs on me. I don't know because I tear up. I cry. I cry at Hallmark commercials. I also cry at, like, Budweiser commercials. Of course, again, who didn't cry at that puppy one during the Super Bowl? Come on. Um, so I'm just going to start with, this is e.l.f. 
and I'm going to just bring it up and under everything. And this is a little brush that comes with with the the setting powder. And I'm just putting it underneath my eyeliner, so it doesn't um, smudge as much. It's high high definition under eye. setting powder. <laughs> One moment. Um, so I used that. It's like three bucks. Elf. Elf. Three bucks. How can you go wrong? So I still have this and I still want to do something else with it because dude, it's a wedding and you're getting married and you're the bride. So you're supposed to be a princess and screw everybody else says we're going to be princesses because that's what you get to be when you're a bride. It's like the only you know, besides your prom. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit of this on the top of my shader brush. And I'm going to come under my eye and we're going to sparkle that crap out. And up to my up to my wing. Because that's what we're doing. That's my cat, Kelty. He's an old man and has Alzheimer's. Like, he'll walk in a room and be like, why did I walk in this room? What's my name? I'm a cat? I didn't know that. I'm at 46 minutes. I'm going to have to edit this down because, oof. All right. I'm sorry that I'm at 46 minutes. All right. So I'm all sparkly. I'm also a little sorry. All right. All sparkled out. Um, and then we're going to use some mascara. I do recommend waterproof mascara. This is my favorite. This is Too Faced. Better than sex. If my fiance is not listening, maybe it is. Maybe it's not. But it's amazing. Um, and dad, I don't have sex. I have two kids. Um, so amazing. This is like my favorite. Invention makeup product ever. Um, such an amazing. It looks sometimes like I have falsies on. So we're gonna put this on my top lashes. And I could have curled them. I didn't. I tend not to. I hate the curling thing coming up my eyeball. So we're just doing up my eyelashes. Yes, and the truth is, it's Kelty sneezes in the background. Um, don't sneeze after you just put on uh, mascara. Kelty, what are you sneezing for? He's like older than dirt. Um, I got him because my forehead has a tattoo that says sucker on it. If you didn't see it, he blocked as a boy kitty. It will do. It's the most common thing. Um, and his owner was a person who worked and was bused to work and had a, a social worker and he was an adult, but he couldn't give him his medicine because Kelty doesn't like to take medicine. Kelty's the most loving cat in the world. He's kind of annoying. He sleeps on my head. Um, he lived at the hospital I worked at for like three years. Um, then he went home with somebody who said he hid in underneath their, um, bed and he came back and he always just waited out outside of the bathroom for me and he sat on my lap and so I guess who took him home? Me. And I didn't pick him, he picked me. That's the way cats work. You pick out dogs and cats pick out you. On my bottom, I am using CK1 volumizing mascara on my bottoms. I tend to never put mascara on my bottom eyelashes because, again, I have sensitive eyes and I cry all the time. And my eyes are done. Do do. All right. So I really wanted her to have a glowy, glowy, glowy look. Oh, and I didn't do my setting powder on my face. I used um, 
Too Faced, um, Primed and Portless. That's what I use for myself. Um, that's what I always use. So, um, we're just going to set my foundation. And I use a kabuki brush. I actually use that kabuki brush. Because I do. My elf contouring kabuki brush for my setting powder. Um, so there's that. So, this is my go to. Always use. Love it a lot. Go through a lot of it. Benefits high beam. It gives you a glow. It's amazing. Um, I use my fingers for it. I I'm probably going to be yelled at by the community and makeup. I put it directly on like that. And I use my fingers. Now, I have a contour kit. I have Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I have a couple other contouring colors and stuff like that. And you know what? Contouring's great. I love it. I love to do it. If you're doing your own makeup for your wedding, first of all, you're going to be running into time. Like, I'm at 48 minutes here at this video. And um, it's not even my wedding. Um, I'm not even the bride. It's not even the day of the wedding. So, you know, um, you just want to, um, contouring can take, yeah, contouring takes a long time. And when you screw it up, you screw it up and you have to take it all off. And it's, um, I wouldn't get into contouring if you don't do it every single day and do it well every single day. So I have this blush, um, it's Elf. Um, it's the candied coral, but it is doesn't look like a coral to me. Um, it looks a little glowy, and I want her glowy. So I'm gonna take my Jewel blush brush. <laughs> blush brush, for Jewel. Love this brush, and I'm gonna put a little of this on. I'm hoping this. Um, So, first on the cheeks, on my apples, on my heart, my nine-year-old daughter, she'll be 10 next month. She laughs when I do my makeup because of the faces I make. I'm like, that's what you got to do. It's how I learned how to do makeup. So, you have to do the faces. Um... And I'm pretty glowy. And I like that. Definitely like glowy. I wanted her glowy. So there's that. There's that. Um, lips. 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 And more lips. I had that. I had that. And you're gonna kill me, but maybe three seconds. Did you guys see my dog, Tinkerbell, on the floor? I have two others, but she's on the floor. So I'm gonna use um, Too Faced Lip Insurance original um on my lips to keep my stuff from moving Doo -doo -doo. I'm boring and this is really long and I'm really 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 really, really sorry alright um I don't like have magic I don't take the time to match a freaking lip liner. So I have no bleeding lips. I'm um, going to put that on my lip line because it's not a color so I don't have to do my total lip because it is not a color. So I have NYX Strawberry Milk. Um, it's very light pinky color. 
Um, I bet you she gets told to wear pinks all the time by people. And you're like, huh? Uh-uh. It, like, washes me out. No way. Like, everybody's, my whole life has always been putting me in pink lipstick. And this is a very pink. I've had this for a while. haven't used it. I was thinking, hmm, what am I going to use this for? Um, you definitely don't want to chop lips like I do. I'm going to use this to blot what I have going on. And then I also have NYX um, Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And this is an Orbit. Orbit. Cosmos. Cosmos Orbit. I have a thing for space. Um, it's very pinky and sparkly. Um, so I'm going to put it right on top of my very pink. I wouldn't wear this in public lipstick. Although I might because I'm weird. Uh, she had a dark, she did a, a trial, and she had dark color on. I would probably go with her darker color than what I just tried. Um... And so I don't have trap clips because that is not forgiving color for trap clips. Um, so, um, I have very pink lips, I have sparkly eyes, um, at the end, this stuff, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, dude, I put this on in the morning when I do my morning makeup. I go about my day, I go to work, I go do whatever. I go to the gym, I work out. I do like 30 minutes of weights and I do 45 minutes cardio. And then I do a half hour in the pool. This is my gym routine. I've lost 32 pounds since December. So yay, go me. Um, I come home and my makeup's still on with this stuff. So, um, yes, use it because it's amazing. And then you can take down your hair. And mine is wet still. And yay for pretty, pretty princess makeup. I don't know. Um, so, glowy cheeks. Sparkly eyes, pink lips. Um, I'm going to take some pictures, throw them up on my Insta. Probably um, do, and I will put a list of everything that I made in the bottom description of this video. I am sorry it's so long. I'm going to see if I can edit it down, but I've never done a video before, and um, I'm pretty, I don't know. I want to post this before this weekend for her. So I might just put it up and make you guys all suffer. Um, if you've watched the end, thank you for suffering through all this. I'm really sorry. Um, congratulations on your wedding day. Yay! Um, so may your days always be amazing and your nights hot. And may you grow old together um, in loving harmony. Um, and may you never want to um, fight with anybody else or kiss anybody else or hug anybody else because he's the man of your dreams. And the same for you, that she's the woman of your dreams. Congratulations to you both. I hope you have um, a wonderful wedding a fantabulous honeymoon if you guys are going away um, and a wonderful life together um, congratulations weddings are amazing they make me cry waterproof 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 and bring tissues thank you guys bye